Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of uh, my show. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about Mexico stuff. And in particular, you know, to be more specific, we're gonna be talking about um, medical costs. We're gonna talk about, you know, doctors and um, the medicine out here and just um, that whole world in general. Um, basically because, well, I'm on my way now to uh, Walmart, um, but, um, before I go to Walmart, I'm going to the pharmacy to just pick up a couple things. You know, kind of like you guys back home, you know, go to Walgreens or CVS or whatever, you know, your your pharmacy of choices back uh, where you live, uh, wherever it is you live. And um, so I'm on my way over there to just pick up a couple things just like you would back home and stuff. And uh, that's why I was like, you know what, let me talk about this today. I actually want to talk about a few other things, you know, like censorship and and things like that. But I'm not gonna get, uh, you know, talk. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna be talking about those subjects today. In fact, again, we're just gonna stay focused on Mexico, and we're gonna be talking about exactly what's going on with um, with the whole medical thing out here. Because um, I know that there's always a lot to talk about when it comes to that subject, and uh, people are, you know, ask me questions. You know, there's always, you know, it's it's always a, a, a very important subject to talk about because it's a very important subject for all of us period no matter what and um especially if you're coming from the u.s um th this is this video is mainly focused for those that come from the u.s because pretty much anywhere else you're coming from you do have health care you do have um you know just a better um medical situation you know all around than you do um, in the U.S. Unfortunately, if you're a U.S. citizen, if you're, you're from the U.S., you know, the whole medical thing, it's always been a mess. And um, as each day progresses, as, 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 as each day passes, you know, we, you know, you as an American citizen, you realize and you know that you really basically have absolutely zero, you know, um, kind of, uh, you don't have any medical coverage, any medical insurance, um, uh, you know, everything is crazy expensive. Um, you know, you could literally uh, lose your house, lose everything you have just because you get sick and stuff like that, you know, which is really, really sucky. As you guys already know, um, if you're, you're in the U.S. and you're pretty much middle class or lower, um, especially if you're in the poor class, like, you know, I was very, very much, you know, I, I, was, I grew up poor. I, I grew up, you know what I mean? Like even in my, even later on in life. As I would, uh, you know, as I was making it up the ranks, you know, I, I still, for, for the longest time, I can never afford, uh, you know, medicine. I can never afford to go to a doctor. I can never afford any of that shit. And then when, when the whole Obamacare passed, you know, I was one of the few that was like, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Finally, we get to have medical insurance. But as you guys already know how that worked out, um, you know, unless you're beyond destitute poor, um, in, which, in which case the government pays for your... Um, medicine pretty much everyone else has to pay an arm and a leg you know for insurance and for um, you know Obama care or whatever the fuck it, it is you know nowadays I don't know because I don't participate in that shit anymore but um, regardless you know you got to pay for all this stuff and you get absolutely nothing um, and even if you do get sick you still got to pay more when you go to the doctor and so on and so forth and um, you know out here in just a short time that I've been here you know, I've actually seen a bunch of doctors for a bunch of different things. And uh, in many cases, you know, um, they've been able to, to help me out, to cure me, um, to fix things that have been wrong with me for fucking ever, for years, for decades. And out yeah. here, you know, I was able to get them fixed for just a few bucks. Literally. I mean, <laughs> literally a few bucks, okay? I mean, sure, things could be, you know, um, I guess expensive and in relative terms in Mexico prices and stuff like that but they're not they're really not expensive because you know I compare everything just like you guys compare everything mostly in dollars and uh, it, it, it's, it's beyond crazy cheap so you know I don't want to divulge too much about my uh, medical history and about you know what's wrong with me and stuff like that you know you guys already know about a few things that are wrong with me you know like I'm fucking nuts you know that's <laughs> boom boom um, but, um, <laughs> you know, um, there are a few things that are obviously wrong with me. Um, like, you know, you guys hear me talking about my feet and my, sh my, my knees and, and my legs. And, you know, I've had other situations, you know, where, 
you know, one time I, this is not a medical thing, but I cut myself here really bad. Um, hey guys, so sorry about the interruption. I just realized that I completely forgot to mention something um, in the video talking about medical costs. And that's the dentist because um, I actually went out to the dentist out here. I got really good teeth. So because of that, um, I'm not a guy that needs to go to the dentist all the time. I just go when, uh, you know, kind of have to have to go, forced to go. But um, I remember that I actually went to the doctor out here because, you know, I was having a little pain in my teeth. So I finally decided to go check out a dentist and the dentist okay a full cleaning and a full checkup the full everything was uh i think it was 600 pesos which is 30 us dollars okay and um it turned out that i actually had some sort of uh something going on in my mouth because i hadn't gone to a doctor in like forever you know like a like a dentist in forever so the medicine um, that I needed to take, um, it was like a special mouthwash that I needed to, to, I think I had gingivitis. I did not have gingivitis, but it was something, you know, like a minor version of that, you know what I mean? And um, and again, all the way cured. But the medicine itself was actually um, close to the same price as the doctor. So long story short, the medicine and the dentist, full cleaning, the whole treatment, the whole everything came out to around uh, $60 US. All right, so around a thousand two hundred pesos for everything, and it was probably a little less, but I'd rather overshoot than undershoot. So again, um, a full cleaning. I went to the doctor. The guy told you know the guy um, literally pinpointed and told me, look, this is what's wrong. You got some um, not cavities. You just got some sort of uh, gingivitis type situation. You know, um, here's a prescription. Go to the doc. I mean, go to the pharmacy. Get it filled. Do the mouthwash thingy. Then if it's still um, going um, then uh, you know um, he told me to use another type of mouthwash that I could buy over the counter that was cheaper and long story short after some treatment bam my mouth is as good as new um, literally I, um, I, I was worried uh, before I went to the dentist initially because I never had mouth pain I had some mouth pain when I went to him and then literally um, just spending a few bucks and uh, you know treating my teeth the proper way is again um, I'm not one of those guys that's brushing every five fucking minutes. Um, yeah, now my teeth are back to fucking new again. Um, I'd never have a problem. And uh, he even gave me some tips. And I, I know I'm, I'm doing this and I'm just realizing what I'm doing. Anyways, but <laughs> he gave me some tips. And um, yeah, let's it. Long story short, within a couple months, I was fully cured and um, I'm back to normal. So that was also a situation. And you're going to hear of a few more other situations um, as soon as I'm done here. So, all right, without further ado, back to the video. What a, what a, let me see, let me talk about the medical situations. Oh yeah, so I have this one thing that is like, uh, some, uh, again, I don't wanna get too detailed, you know, but uh, you know, I do have like this thing that's um, kind of like a bacteria type shit that lives in my body. And um, I don't wanna alarm anyone out there, but it's totally normal, I'm fine, I'm 100% healthy. It's not like a major, major horrible thing, but you know, I'm trying to figure out when to cross the street here. It's not like a major, major horrible thing. Um, but the reality is that every time that I was going to try and get some sort of uh, some sort of treatment for it or some sort of uh, anything for it, you know, again, I can never afford it. It was always crazy expensive back home. And then uh, on top of that, you know, um, back in the U.S., um, you know, they always want to charge you even more um, that, that, you know, besides the price. Sorry, I got a little distracted for a second there. It's not the price that I was talking about. The fact is that the only way that um, the doctors back home, you know, ever wanted to deal with my situation was through like surgeries and through um, very invasive, uh, you know, procedures, which, hold on, the camera's a little dirty, I just noticed there. Anyways, and a bunch of invasive procedures that, you know, to me, I don't, I don't like. I'm not a big doctor guy. I'm not a big medicine guy, especially the modern medicine thing. So to me, you know, nothing, you know, none of these solutions that they were offering me were things that I wanted to, to do. You know, I just period in the story. So I'd never really, you know, I just after seeing a few doctors when I was younger and after, you know, kind of knowing that everything I had was pretty safe. I said to myself, you know what? Fuck it. I can, I can just deal with this. I know, I know people live with this stuff. It's not a big deal. Let me just uh, move forward with my life and, uh, that's it, you know, just hope for the best. 
and um, you know things have been going great you know for the most part when it came to that but it wasn't until like the last like um, couple years that you know things that I was having was uh, you know starting to flare up a little bit started to um, you know bother me a little more than usual and again I already since what I already knew what the doctor was gonna tell me and uh, what my options were I was always trying to figure out a way to holistically fix it and um I never really had much um, you know luck back home until I came here once I came here and I'm gonna be honest with you it wasn't until I met Chris and um, and she was made aware of my uh, my situation that she started like uh, you know helping me out you know like okay let's go to this holistic doctor all right let's try this natural medicine all right let's try you know what I mean all these other you know natural forms of trying to fix this and cure this and uh guess what it worked and um i'm not quite sure how far along it is right now but you know right now i'm uh i'm in part two of the treatment you know <laughs> you know like i'm in well not part two it's probably like part three right now but like um i'm pretty much you know i'm still going through the treatment and as i'm going through the treatment you know it's basically antibiotics you know because i eventually i ended up going to a, a real doctor you know an actual doctor out here you know he gave me a bunch of options he told me what it was you know it was like all this stuff and by the way so i went to like a special stupor duper specialist i saw a dermatologist i saw a surgeon i saw all these people and it all cost me like 35 40 bucks um and then they determined you know they gave me options you know they gave me the same options that you know the united states was giving me and then they gave me a bunch of other options you know they gave me natural options they gave me uh you know options you know with antibiotics they gave me a bunch of shit so you know i said you know what fuck it you know i never take antibiotics because remember i've always been anti uh, doctor anti modern medicine and um on top of that you know since since i never take any antibiotics or anything like that i said uh, i said i was thinking to myself you know what maybe antibiotics might be the good route here since uh i never take them and uh so my body isn't like um already uh used to you know dealing with this stuff so i was like okay this will be perfect you know let me just go with the antibiotics and uh and then on top of that like i know the antibiotics here are even stronger than most antibiotics and other medicines you know that are made around the world or sold around the world so i go fuck it let's do it and bam sure enough you know by the but as i was already with the first round of uh antibiotics my goodness the the, the improvement was beyond drastic and um, it's only been getting better and better and uh, you know right now I'm on round two of antibiotics you know there's a bunch of things that I you know was doing um, in between you know um, adding holistic um, treatments and and so on and so forth um, and um, yeah now and you know things are beyond great I mean seriously they're they, you know like uh, my whole situation is almost gone and it's like something that I've been dealing with my whole life literally these this thing that i've been dealing with my whole life and now all of a sudden i come out here and for a few bucks you know it's already being taken care of um you know in totality it came out to like a couple hundred bucks you know maybe 200 bucks total for the whole thing but i mean come on now and so there you go with for i, I literally got a like a real working solution for like around 200 250 bucks total that's medicine treatment doctor the whole fucking nine included now the reason I'm taking I have my glasses obviously I don't want to forget the next segue is like these glasses right here this was 500 bucks okay now we've I've already made an episode talking about glasses and talking about this but you know just the glass itself just the just the the, the actual lens themselves 25 US dollars literally you know and uh, sure the prices vary and I got like a really cheap price you know because I did my homework and and got a little lucky and all that shit but you know e even if they're just a little more than that um they're still really cheap in comparison to the u.s um when it comes to shoes you know you guys already know that i have here let me give you uh you know i got shoes and i got insoles for my shoes so out here you know to go see an orthopedic doctor it was only um it was only $25, you know, to see the orthopedic doctor to get, um, you know, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, la receta, man, what do you say, like, like a fucking receta, the, the prescription, <laughs> you know, um, 
So 25 bucks, you know, to see the doctor and get a prescription for insoles, you know, for the proper, you know, shoe fits that I need. So again, a bargain. And then when I went to the actual orthopedic to get them done, you know, custom made insoles for my shoes, custom made, uh, you know, um, yeah, walking insoles or whatever, um, you know, in order to have my feet arch and in order for me to be able to walk better without pain and suffering. <laughs> Um, all of a sudden, you know, that cost me again another 500 bucks. So I'm um, 500 pesos, 500 pesos. So for 50, oh, music, all right, hold on a second. You know, but yeah, so for like 50 US dollars, so for 50 US dollars, literally, I was able to not just see a doctor, but you know, get the insoles and get the whole thing. And then when it came to shoes, you know, once I found the proper store, you know, where these shoes were, you know, where I could buy them, you know, I got two pairs of shoes for 30, $35. I mean, really good shoes. Sure, they're not Nike, they're not whatever. And I would have preferred to have uh, a certain other kind of shoe. But again, if you're getting $15 shoes back home, you already know that they suck. Um, and so on and so forth. So, you know, that, you know, on top of the, the holistic medicine, you know, holistic medicine out here isn't looked at like a niche thing. It's not looked at like a... You know, back home, if you go to a natural food store, if you go to um, holistic medicine, if you go to any one of these things, you know, they force the doctors and they force you to think that it's not real medicine. And uh, it even says it on the labels of a lot of these products. It says that when you're talking to, you know, when you had to talk to these doctors for consultations or whatever, you know, they're not allowed, you know, they're, they're in a way um, how do I say this? Like um, someone that uh, there's a fortune teller, you know, one of these people that do like fortune telling and shit like that actually have more clout or more, um, you know, what I mean, like, uh, yeah, more clout when it comes to how society, how the American society looks at them, meaning that, you know, for for whatever reason, you know, real you know, these real doctors that, um, you know, are talking about medicine that has been practiced, you know, pretty much since the beginning of time, you know, these guys are considered shams when they're not. And so, you know, out here, you know, you get to really see, um, not just holistic doctors, you know, you get to make appointments with them and talk to them and shit like that, but they give you holistic medicine. And um, they, they make the medicine, they, um, you know, they make the, the, the whole, you know, they literally make the medicine out here. Um, it's all like organic. It's all like really um, the real medicine that you know people are supposed to be taking, and um, you know you can find it readily available everywhere. Um, you know now let's just talk about pharmacies for a second because I'm already here at the hospital. So Walmart is just like a like another two blocks that way, but right by the Walmart because I'm by Paseo Montejo. You know I think most of you guys already know where I am, but for those of you guys that don't know where I am. I'm, you know, right by Paseo Montejos on the other side of this, right behind me, a block behind me. And a block that way is uh, Walmart. So I'm in this area. But this right here is the hospital. This is like a major, major hospital here. So as you guys can see, there's a pharmacy, there's a pharmacy, there's pharmacy. There's like probably like five or six pharmacies. And they're all, you know, competing against each other, literally selling uh, medicine. And it's all like just competition. Now, you know, there are... Um, you know benefits to some of these pharmacies over others you know not just the prices you know supposedly some of them have uh, you know better generics and all that good stuff because again the laws out here are just a little different than they are everywhere else when it comes to all that stuff so you know out here you'll be able to um you know go to a pharmacy and probably pay a little less you know probably pay like really really cheap for some medicine but um you know that medicine might not be as strong as um let's say you go to 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 that one or to that one where you'll be paying a little bit more for generics but those generics are you know like really strong and in some cases even stronger than uh than the generics that you would uh that you were gonna get originally anyway so you know there's options you know what i mean there's like tons of options out here as opposed to like when you go to the u.s it's all the same everything has the same price everything is uh you know crap um and when you go to a doctor in the u.s you know even if you tell them hey listen i know i have xyz because it runs in my family i have tests i have the symptoms i've had it before blah 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 so i got xyz disease i just know i do because this and that and still the doctor will run whatever tests they want to fucking run and then they'll tell you what you 
you know, what's wrong with you, even though that they could be 100% wrong. <laughs> oh, hola. Hola. <laughs> um, yeah, so those people were waiting for me to, they saw me filming, I guess they thought it was important. We all know I'm not that important, but anyways. So, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of things here. Here you go to a doctor and it's like, you know, they, they give you their opinion, they give you their, their professional opinion, that's what you pay them for. But it's like, it's up to you whether you want to take that or not. You know what I mean? And even at the end of the day, if you go to a doctor and you fucking tell them, listen, I know you think this is what I have, but look, this is really what I have. You know, the doctor will listen to you, will follow up on that. And, uh, you know, most likely will will give you whatever medicine or whatever treatment that you actually do need because that's what they're there for. Now, you know, outside of the fact that like, if you're going out here asking for like Oxycontin or asking for like hard drugs, they're gonna tell you to go fuck yourself. But, but not always, but still, you know, you know, out here you can literally, if you have something wrong with you, um, not here, because again, we're right by the hospital, but in, in a lot of these other pharmacies that are located throughout the city, you know, they have doctors available in them, okay? And specifically the Iza, you know, the YZA. All right, guys, well, yeah, that's a little bit of the inside of the pharmacy. You don't really want to be filming in there for obvious reasons, but um, yeah, the camera turned off because of the heat. You already know the drill. So um, I decided to go in there, buy what I needed to buy. Um, they had a special going, so I was able to get double the medicine for the same price. So as I buy one, get one free type of shit. Hell yeah. And I was able to cool the camera down a little bit. And um, I want to finish what I was saying. So, you know, in that particular pharmacy right there, um, they have literally doctors. Now, not that one because it's right next to a hospital. So that kind of defeats the purpose. But where there's a lot of these pharmacies and other places of the, you know what? Let me start walking towards where I got to go anyway. Right? Might as well finish. So, um, yeah. So in these, in, the, in these particular ones, and I think in others, but I think these particular ones, that one, that brand, Isa. Let's try this again. All right, let's try it again. All right, we cooled down again for a little bit. Um, let me see if I can finish my thoughts. So as I was uh, finishing my thoughts, um, my camera keeps turning off, but you know, literally um, for 40 pesos, all right, 60 pesos, give or take, it always varies a little bit, you know, 40, 60, 100 pesos, you know, but really around 40 pesos, sometimes even less, you could see a doctor. So. You know, literally, you can go to any one of those pharmacies, you know, um, not every one of them. You got to, like, actually check ahead. Forgot to mention that. I made that mistake already. But, you know, you just check ahead and make sure that, you know, the particular um, Isa pharmacy that you're going to actually has um, a doctor. And if you, you know, you have any questions, all you can do is just call one of them and they'll tell you, hey, look, these are the ones that have a doctor, X, Y, Z, whatever. And then you can just go and take care of that yourself. All right, let me get over there, see if I can get some uh, some shade real quick. But, you know, that's basically it. You know what I mean? Literally, you can go see a doctor here. No matter what your problem is, you get always, you know, you have access to doctors for just a few dollars, you know? Because remember, the exchange rate is one to 20. So for like less than $5, really like in the $3 range, probably $2 range, you get to see an actual doctor, a real doctor. And um, okay, again, if you need to see like, uh, you gotta go to a hospital, you gotta do something, you know, it's actually more serious than just uh, their capacity, then they'll, they'll tell you, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll um, guide you to where you need to do, to where you need to go, what you need to do and so on and so forth. But you know, in a lot of cases, you just need to see a doctor for a few minutes and that's it. It's not all about, um, you know, getting expect expensive treatment or having to go to a hospital to get like all this shit. No, 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 no. By the way, there's Walmart right behind me. You see it? But uh, look at all this traffic. So look at that. I got to cross this thing here. Good thing there's really good. Uh, there's I'm, good thing I'm right by the hospital and shit, right? But anyway, so yeah, like as I was saying though, you know, the, re the reality is, is like, uh, you know, the whole medicine thing is, is not out of everyone's reach here. In fact, it's the other way around. Um, medicine, doctors, you know, um, taking care of yourself, you know, all that shit is, uh, is readily available. For pretty much like every girl that I've dated out here, with the exception of uh, my girl, um, they all have a nutritionist. And I think even my girl was seeing a nutritionist at one point. 
but like just so you can understand you know just like everybody out here you know they're poor but they all have two houses you know what i mean like they have a house and then they got a beach house or they got a house and then they got a business or whatever you know what i mean especially again if they're married that's how they're able to acquire too um you know you're also able to acquire you know um if you need to see specialist doctors if you need to see if you need to have a nutritionist if you need to have whatever the fuck it is you need you can you can have everything is accessible out here and worst case scenario you can't afford it you just work you work 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 and you can afford it you know just like uh, back in the u.s back in the day you know your things are even if they were out of your reach you know they weren't out of your reach for that long and so on and so forth so it's kind of like the same thing here you know and um again you know that's like one of the miracles for me out here and i think for a lot of you guys as to you know what makes mexico even awesomer than usual is the fact that you know you actually have medical care accessible to you um, and it's not like um, something like in the U.S. where it's like literally um, a bad accident or an illness can literally um, not just bankrupt you forever, but literally put you out of commission like uh, financially for a very, very, very long time. And it's uh, really, those are the harsh realities of, uh, of that, you know. So that's why, you know, there's a lot of reasons why a lot of you guys out there, you know, want to move out here and live out here. I mean, besides the fact that, I mean, you're, it's paradise, besides the fact that you have more freedom and liberty, besides the fact that things are cheaper, besides the fact, you know, there, there's so many besides the facts. But, you know, one, one of the main things that I always forget about is just medical care because it's something that, you know, right now in the United States, you know, one of the presidential candidates, you know, he's uh, literally fighting for that as to why the U.S. is the only developed country that doesn't have, you know, medical care for its people. Besides not having school for its people, besides not all that stuff. So, for example, school isn't paid out here. You know what I mean? School isn't free out here. You know what I mean? It costs money, but, you know, school out here costs, you know, like what school used to cost back in the U.S. So, meaning for a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks, that's it. You got, like, full paid scholarship, tuition, whatever. You know, a few hundred, a few thousand bucks, that shit doesn't even cover your books in the U.S. anymore. It, it doesn't. And so, it's just shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, um... You know, back, just talking about hyperinflation for a minute, I mean, if you guys still don't see it, I don't know what to tell you. You know, so again, you know, the, 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 the accessibility isn't just having it everywhere, it's being able to afford it and being able to use it. You know, that's the main thing because, you know, there's tons of doctors and tons of hospitals and tons of shit in the US, but is it really accessible to everybody? Again, you know, unless you're so poor, you know what I mean? You're so, so poor that you just go to the hospital with a gunshot wound and they have to take care of you. And then they bill the state, a.k.a. bill you in taxes. Or B, you're so fucking rich, you know, that you just go. Or, or C, that you have, you know, uh, the socialist medical program like Medicare, Medicaid and all that shit in order to pay for all that. But, you know, that's basically it. Everyone else, you're fucked. And, and, and that everyone else is like 80% of the population. So, you know, just to put shit into perspective, you know, again, things aren't perfect out here. And, and, and again, I've made plenty of videos on that. We're going to talk more about how not perfect things are out here. But when it comes to just basic uh, human needs, you know, like basic, you know, just uh, human... Oh, man, the fucking music. But just when it comes down to, like, you know, just basic uh, human things, you know, like uh, medicine, food, shelter, um, you know, the things that we basically all need, you know, just to live and survive, you know, you, you guys have it out here. I mean, again, you already know what I pay for rent and around 200 bucks. You already know um, how much food is. You know, right now I'm about to spend $25 to buy groceries for the week, maybe $30. Um, you know, you already know what the doctor costs. And, you already, and so all these things start accumulating. And um, and you realize, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, what's what's really important. You know, remember, it's like, you know, the whole Gary Vee thing. You know, this is the last thing I'm going to end it on. But it's like, wh wh what are you really looking for here? You know what I mean? Are you looking for the $100,000... Yeah, again, uh, I was talking too much. The heat was too much, and it turned off the camera. You already know the drill. It already happened a couple times today. But the last thing I wanted to say before I ended today's episode, just trying to get away from the music. That's why I'm walking this way. Is uh, just a simple fact that, you know, what's more important to you? You know, money or life? And so that's the thing that, you know, a lot of us, you know, just kind of forget and don't really, you know, um, you know, put into context. So, again, what's more important to you? Making $100,000 a year and having, you know, the extra couple bucks? And, be, and doing something you fucking hate that makes you you miserable or earning 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars a year. Did I say a hundred a month? I mean, uh, it's, again, what's more important to you? A hundred thousand dollars a year and you're miserable or earning 80 thousand dollars a year and you're beyond happy. 
or seventy thousand dollars a year and you have everything you know all your needs met everything paid for you're beyond happy you're doing what you love you're doing what you see you know so that's the thing you know that's where we need to all you know realize you know what really our priorities are and um, stop listening to what fucking society tells us is, is what's making us happy and um, start listening to ourselves and our, our heart and our spirit and our everything and um, listening to us ourselves and um, and that you know what what we want is what makes us happy it's not what society wants for us it's what you as the individual individual want that makes you happy so it's the same thing you know that's why you know some a lot of this stuff is very easy for me to to like talk to you guys about in a sense because it's um you, well you guys kind of get it you know what i mean like i've i've broken through and i figured that out just like i'm you know some of you guys have figured that out or are in the process of figuring it out it, it's really just um all we really need is just a few things in life and then the rest is crap but you know society makes us live for that crap and they barely give us a few of those awesome things when again it should be the other way around we should be having an awesome life of awesomeness and that crap should just be minor parts of your life but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's program um which by the way the last thing about the health thing is mental health you know what i mean out here since you know you don't got to worry about so much crap it actually improves your mental health as well but again that's it. I'm leaving you here because the thing is about to turn off again. Guys, I love you guys so much. I want to give a shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a shout out to all my contributors. I want to give a shout out to everyone out there. Whether you're sending cash, you know, whether you're sending, um, you know, a Bitcoin, Digibyte, love, thumbs ups, whatever it is you guys do, sharing the videos, everything you guys do. I love you guys to death. You guys are the best. Uh, shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to all my old subscribers. Shout out to everyone. Don't And that's it. I'm done. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon and uh, stay awesome. I love you guys and uh, peace out. I'm out, all right? This thing is literally about to fuck. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.